Hey everyone, it's Dee here from Dee's Divine Guidance. Um, I am doing this a little bit different, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. Uh, if for, This is for the sign, see I'm out of sorts here. This is for the sign of Cancer um, for December of 2019. Um, so I have two announcements before we start. Um, basically, I'm not offering the... Um, I am still offering the 12 free tarot card readings, so if you like a chance to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe and comment on this video, and if you like the video, you can hit the thumbs up for me. Um, also, I am not doing any free, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm not doing any personal uh, tarot or he Reiki healing sessions for the month of December, unless you are in the membership group, I will not leave you guys hanging, So, um, but for everybody else, um, I'm taking the month off, so therefore... Um, if you'd like, you can schedule them for January. Okay. Um, all right. Sign of Cancer. Also, if you if you're interested in the membership group, the link is below. It's only twenty two dollars a month. You get you get to work with me for like eight hours a month, uh, face to face. So, if you like that um, and that interests you, the link is below. All right. The energy I'm getting as I'm shuffling the cards here is like a lot of organization. I feel as though you guys are getting your shit together. Um, you're, I feel like you're putting everything in its place, getting ready. I feel like you're getting ready for like something big to happen. Um, you know, you're preparing. You, you have stuff on stock. You're ready. It's like you're getting ready for like a, a hurricane or an earthquake or tornado or something. You know, um, I just feel like you are just getting ready. So for some of you, that could be like you're getting ready to move. Um, that could make sense to me here. And then, um, all right, let's make these look pretty. All right. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel as though it's, you're just getting ready for whatever is coming your way. Something's coming your way. And again, just remember that, uh, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, you can check out your moon and your rising signs too, if this doesn't resonate, or even if it does, you could check out those. You're more than welcome to comment on those to increase your chances of winning a free reading with me. Um, but yeah, oh, we got the money card. We're going to go with that. And I'm going for the bottom. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like things are changing. I feel like things are changing. So I feel like I said, you're putting things in the its spot. You've got the seven of cups here. So this is, to me in this deck, this is all about picking and choosing, right? And it kind of makes sense where I'm like, you're, you're, you're putting things everywhere. And it's like the dragon is here and he's picking up all the cups and stuff. And so I just, I feel like that's your energy. It's like, you're very, you're being very, very specific. And it's like, you're picking and choosing what you're doing, what you're putting away, what you're organizing. Um, just very focused in the month of December. Very focused. I think it's this one. Okay. So in the beginning of December here, oh, you can also comment below. Do you like it when I shuffle the cards on the camera? Do you, do you not? Does it take too long? Does it annoy you with the sound? Tell me, tell me. Right off the bat here in the beginning of December, the death card. Transformation. Things take a turn. And for some of you, I didn't, I feel like you didn't even see it coming. You've got the queen of cups, the four of cups, and the knight of pentacles. I am feeling that that death card is bringing relief. I feel like it's bringing relief. I feel as though you might have been weighed down prior to this. Worried about other people, thinking about other people. And I feel as though this is a transformation to now bring it to you. To bring it to you, to bring it to your family, to focus on you. I'm getting a lot of transformation, a lot of change. So therefore, you know, definitely, but it's family change. So for, you know, for you, those of you that are single, I feel as though this is like letting go of what other people want for you and focusing on what you want and moving forward that way. For the family people here, I feel as though this is about letting go of, of worrying about other people. Okay, um, 
and putting your family life first. Because I feel like you've been, you've been carrying some burdens of other people around you. But now it's like time to put you and your immediate family first. And with the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups, and that Knight of Pentacles, I feel as though, you know, you're doing this slow, slowly but steady, okay? And it's like every step forward counts is what I'm getting here. And then here in the middle of, and I got to look at all the cards here. So now in the middle of December, it's like, I feel like you even go deeper. So, you know, that Wheel of Fortune here, you've got the Hermit card, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, and then you've got the Queen of Wands. Now what I'm getting is that we move from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Cups, this is you guys, right? Loving, nurturing, worrying about everybody else, trying to help everybody else. But now we move in a brand new beginning in the middle of the month here. We go deeper. We go deeper with this Hermit card. I feel like we turn the wheel to go deeper. We choose to look further. We choose to look deeper. And we finally see that, yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is okay for me to focus on me and my family. It's okay. And that's the new beginning you start to see. And now you become the Queen of Wands here. And that Queen of Wands is basically, you know, you still got love. You still got love for people. But now it's a, it's a, it's a mental choice that you're making. And I said that before, like you're very focused and it's like you want to stay on the right track and you want to make sure that you're focused so that nobody can disturb that. All right. They can't pull you away into their chaos again is what I'm getting. So that queen of wands there. So that's basically knowing how to get what you want, kind of standing up and, and just focused, driven to whatever goal you're trying to achieve here. For some of you, it's going to be family. For some of you, this is going to be job. Some of you, it's love. Some of you, it, you know, whatever. Um, but that's what's happening is that you're going from a state of my heart is out there to let me bring that a little bit closer to me and see how this works. See how this feels. Let me see, see what this does. And I feel as though you're going to like it a lot, okay? And then towards the end of the month here, at the very end of 2018, you've got that Six of Pentacles, followed with the King of Pentacles, followed with the Nine of Cups, followed with the Nine of Pentacles, followed with the Four of Wands. There's many stories to tell you in this last week here. For some of you, this is living your life the way you want to live it. For the young ones that are watching this, um, I feel as though you're going to be moving out of the house. I feel like you're going to be like, you know what? Your parents want you to do this, but I'm going to go do this. And you know that it's going to be okay because it's your passion. And you're going to get the wish that you want. And I feel like you're going to find the opportunities. Okay, so that's one way this can go. Other way here, single people. You're going to start living more of what you want to do. And I feel as though when you do that, you're going to meet somebody here that is interested and curious about the same things that you are. Because here you've got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and then the Four of Wands. I feel as though you're going to go from being single to start to talking to somebody, okay? Somebody that has the same similarities, same interests as you. Um, and they're bringing my attention. I think I just did this with a Pisces reading. Is they're just bringing my attention is just keep your eyes open, and make sure that you're seeing the reality of the person in front of you, not what you want to see, but who they really truly are, okay? Then the family people here, if you are in a relationship, actually, you've got, again, you're going to kind of start to see that you've been cheating yourself, really, is what I'm getting, is that you've been cheating yourself because you've been worried about other people more than yourself. You, this might be your boyfriend or girlfriend, and you've been just so worried and so trying to help them, but you, that you forgot about you. And I feel as though you start to give that back to yourself. Your wish comes true. I do feel as though some of you will break up because you realize that you don't want to give all of you anymore. You need to hold some for yourself. Okay. And then as far as the family people go, the people that are married, I do 
feel as though here this is going to take a little bit of time, but you guys, if you really truly want it and you wish for it to happen, to work out, it's going to take a lot of talking, a lot of communication in order for you, because I'm, and it's 111 right now, guys, um, I'm, I'm getting that to be independent, but to be together. And that's the very basis of a marriage. You need to be two independent people that come together to form a relationship. You can't be the relationship. The two of you can't be the relationship. Else you lose each other. You lose yourself within the relationship. And then that's when things start to go downhill. So if you are in a marriage right now that is kind of complicated and not working so well, it's going to take a lot of communication to get, and, and time apart is also what I'm getting, um, not like a separation, but just time doing your own things. Get your life back. Find who you are again, and, and then I feel like it will come together, okay? Okay, you have the love card over here as well, and it says, it's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. I will not give all of myself to someone else. I need some of that for me. I am love. Direction. It says, Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Listen to that body. I talk about this all the time in the groups is that, you know, feel it. Stop getting, get out of your head, the analytical of like why you should do this, the pros and the cons, all of that. What feels right? If you think about it, what just feels good for you? Where do you think you belong? What do you think you should be doing? You know, what, like, feel it. If It's like you always have to listen to your body. If you think of something and you feel like, oh, you, like, tense up, then it's not for you. But if, it, if you're relaxed and you're like, wow, that sounds really cool and that awesome, then you know it's for you. Money. Let's see. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't and needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. Letting the divine take over. Stress, I think money is one of the, I mean, I know it's my number one stressor, but like, I think money is the number one stressor. And when we leave it to the divine and we just know that whatever happens, happens and it is what it is the stress releases a little bit, okay? And then the last card we have here is the Ancient. And it says, Elder Experience Lessons. So these are the Fairy Forest cards. I like this little guy. I think he's kind of cute. Um, but, uh, and the author, Lucy Cavendish. So I'm going to read my favorite author here for these Oracle cards. And it says, is this the last one? Oh, it's the last deck in the it's the last card in the deck the ancient is so old she is almost beyond time she is able to speak the truth without compromise as are you when this card comes to you she is so old has experienced so much learned and taught so many lessons that she has become powerful and influential just as you are becoming too so too so too are you growing older coming into wisdom she knows that while others are now going to come to you for advice and guidance, she sees your humanity, your faults and your flaws, and your feelings of unworthiness. She wishes to reassure you. Others will come to you seeking knowledge, awaiting a blessing, an initiation, and oblivious to the consequences of the path they wish to walk. Wisdom, true wisdom, understands complexity, and you have developed this quality. The ancient is honorable and human, and yet more than human, and she is courageous and has made sacrifices, as have you. She sees straight through comforting illusions, as you do. She represents ancient tradition and the challenge of defining the self, yet remaining within a tradition that you value. And this, too, is one of your challenges. So take responsibility in your life. You will face the battle of choice, and you will be the antidote to gur gurus and dominant personalities who claim to have all the answers. The ancient recognizes the challenge of being a teacher. This immersion in a world to, to learn the ancient arts and venerate wisdom and old ways can be expressed in many forms, but everything you are now learning has value. She is the repository of ancient secrets and the contact between worlds. 
She is wise, and she has learned to consider every word that falls from her lips, even as she longs to call out for freedom. Lessons. Lessons, lessons. She represents ancient tradition and the challenge of defining the self, yet remaining with the tradition that you value. And this, too, is one of your challenges. So take responsibility in your life. Take the responsibility to give yourself what you need here. Okay? So we're going to do some healing. Um, so if you've never done this before, we're just going to um, listen to some music. You're just going to close your eyes and listen to some music. And I'm going to connect your energy to the divine, uh, releasing some stuff here, um, things that are holding you back in this reading is what I'm getting. Um, and to see that you are deserving. You are deserving of the love for yourself. You are deserving that people understand you and that you it's okay to say no and it's okay to not give your all to everybody else and to keep some of it for yourself, okay? So I'm just gonna play some music, so go ahead and close your eyes. Um, this is gonna be about five minutes long. Um, on the membership group, we do about 45 minutes, so it's much better, uh, much longer, but this is powerful as well as, um, so take it what you will. All right, so go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And take another deep breath in and let it out whatever thoughts come in let them come in and let them flow out
okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. Take another deep breath in, wiggle your fingers and your toes and let it out. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay, I hope that was good for you. Um, bring your energy back to yourself, okay, is what I was getting in that. Just bring it back. Love you. Bring it back to you. Bring it back. Stop giving it out to everybody. Take it back. Take it back. Okay? You need to empower yourself again. You need to, to just give yourself that love first. Okay? Then, when you feel strong enough, then you give it out. However, I don't feel like that's at this time, so we need to take it back in for a little while, okay? Give yourself what you need. All right, I hope that resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed the healing. Um, again, if you want to win the free tarot card reading, all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel and comment below, um, and then hit the like video if you like this, and leave me a comment if you like shuffling on the, shuffling on the video or not. You're the, you and Pisces are the only two because I have been slacking. Um, just a lot going on this week, but um, so I'm sorry. I apologize for not getting your videos out uh, right away, but much love to all of you. Again, if you're interested in the membership group, we're going to be going live with Tarot on Saturday morning. Um, so if you're interested, only $22, link is below and have a wonderful December. W happy holidays and happy new year. And I'll see you guys in 2019. Let's rock it. Bye guys. <laughs>